Okay, so the ingredients we're going to need for the Italian style meatloaf. I am actually using ground pork today that I got from my farmer friend. This is about a, a little over a pound of ground pork. This is going to be, this is minced dried onion, some garlic powder, some dried basil, dried oregano, crushed red chili flakes, pepper, salt. This is tomato sauce. Um, this is about one cup of Italian tomato sauce. This is two slices of bread that is currently soaking in some milk. A tablespoon of fresh parsley, one egg, and we want some cheese. I would go for either sliced provolone or uh, mozzarella would be very delicious as well. And the last thing is some grated cheese. This is a Parmesan Romano blend. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are just going to combine the ingredients, starting with the egg. Actually, just go ahead and squeeze the milk out of the bread. We just use that to moisten it. Okay. Next, we're going to add two teaspoons of the dried onion, half a teaspoon of the garlic, half a teaspoon of crushed red chili flake. This is about one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of dried basil, pepper, One teaspoon of salt, fresh Italian parsley. This is about two tablespoons of the grated cheese. And I'm just going to give this all a nice stir. And I like to do this first before the adding the meat because I find that everything will be really nicely evenly mixed together. Well, <clears throat> the whole idea behind this meatloaf is it's going to kind of taste similar to Italian sausage, which is why I used the dried spices that I did, um, and which is also why I'm using ground pork. But, you know, you could use any meat for this. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. And this ground pork has a pretty high fat content. I'm actually not sure of the percentage. But just from the looks of it, it's going to be good. And it's going to be moist. I'm going to transfer this to a baking pan. And I'll show you the next step. So if you have um, a meatloaf pan... You can, of course, just go ahead and use that, um, but we don't have one of those here, so I'm just going to go ahead and shape it on my own. Pretty easy. Nothing to it. Just shape it kind of like a football. And this is just me and Dom. That's why I'm only using a pound of pork. But just double the recipe if you want to feed more people. All right, the last step is to add the tomato sauce. Right on over the top. Doesn't have to be neat. And we're not gonna put the cheese on yet because it needs to bake for a while. All right. Okay, so this is going to go into a 350 oven for about 30 minutes, and then I'll show you the next. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes, and I just pulled it out of the oven, and I actually just added like some extra tomato sauce around the meatloaf with the drippings, and that's kind of just going to taste really good like that. So now I'm going to add the cheese, and we actually only had Swiss cheese in our house, 
And I know that that really does not, you know, it's not like um, a typical combination with Italian. That's why I'm in the recipe, I'm going to write to use provolone and mozzarella because that makes a lot more sense. But because I wanted to use what we had, um, this is the option I'm going with. And also some grated cheese on top. And I'm going to put it back in the oven for about 15 more minutes and then it will be ready. Okay, it looks really, really good. I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes before cutting into it.